You know, I have searched the scriptures many, many times, and I cannot find the verse that tells me to pitch a hissy fit. But I'll tell you what I did find. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So I would like to give thanks to Facebook and YouTube. Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. I love my Facebook beta app. It allows me to communicate with over 1,400 friends all over the world. But about three days ago, it suddenly stopped working. To make a long story much shorter, I got online and did everything I was told to do short of resetting the phone altogether. But still, it did not work. Many years ago, I read and reread a book by Ken Blanchard called The One Minute Manager. One part in it really affected my life from that day on. Catch them doing something right. So in addition to thanking God every day as we should, I also try to catch people doing something right and thank them. I shake the hands of military people, policemen and women, firemen, and I say thank you for your service. You know they appreciate that. Sometimes they respond, thank you. It's nice to hear when someone has something good to say. In the restaurants, when I have a good server, in addition to giving them a larger tip, I also ask to talk to their manager to tell him or her what a great job that server is doing. They like that there too. When I have a computer problem and I have to call customer service or tech support, and they're patient with me and really help me, I ask if there's some way I can tell his or her boss what a good job their representative is doing. I have to add that I also thank the manager for hiring such a good employee and suggest they acknowledge and keep him or her. They really appreciate that feedback. So back to Facebook. After it got to two days without that wonderful app, there was an update available. I tried it, but it failed to load as well. I was still dead in the water. Each time it leaves an option to tell Facebook about it. People tell me they don't pay attention to that stuff, but I did it anyway. Each time telling them what I tried and how it didn't work, I said, thank you and God bless you. Well, guess what? A few hours later, another update was available. So I updated and tried the Facebook app and it worked. Now I had to find a place to thank them because it's only Christian decency. My grandpa served on the Saratoga in World War II and on the police force after the war, both times achieving the rank of lieutenant. And grandpa, when we were polite to someone, even when we were going through a rough time or were experiencing a problem, he would say, that's just good Christian decency. You know, that used to be a thing. Anyway, this morning I saw in my Facebook support index, which I found out I had, it said, thanks for reporting. And it reprinted my last report to them. I was so glad I was polite and ended it with, thanks, God bless you. That is a wonderful thing to have on your record rather than pitching a hissy fit. You know, if we thank people more often and catch them doing something right and telling them and their boss about it, they might more likely receive a tract from us. If they don't, it's their choice. But I've had very few people say no to attract after I thank them. So to Facebook, thank you so much for allowing one guy out of two billion users to have his app work again. Thank you, Facebook, for making me able to have friends all over the globe that I can talk to day or night. And to YouTube, thank you so much for allowing me to talk politely about the Bible, my faith, passing out chick tracks, and giving me a forum where we've received over two and a half million views and have over 14,000 subscribers, most of whom I don't even know. 
And to all of you, thank you for watching this video. I hope the faith I show in the King James Bible and in passing out the hope of the gospel through Chick Tracks rubs off on you. God bless you and have a wonderful day.